There's never been more talent in the NBA than there is right now, which means the NBA MVP race should be fascinating. Before we get into right. that, though, make sure you drop a like, make sure you comment and subscribe, and shout out to our guy right here for a cool comment on one of our recent NBA videos, Matt. But let's talk let's about it. this MVP race. A very early discussion yeah. about it. <laughs> yep. But who's yeah. your NBA MVP at this point in the season? I mean, I think based on history and what's happened over the last few years and what he's doing this year, it has to be Jokic. I think Nikola Jokic absolutely has earned the right to be to a be... three-time MVP. A back uh, here's to that, back that's to the back issue. MVP? It's, this is the issue, and we've talked about this before. Uh, I think the first time he got it, I think he absolutely – one of those two years, it should have been given to Joel Embiid. Last year 100%. should have been given to Joel Embiid. The previous year 100. probably See, should the, have went to Giannis, if we're being honest. Yeah, I mean, but that's the thing. is these, like the, the voting for the MVP is so ridiculous nowadays. They've done messed up, and now <laughs> they've put themselves in a corner because Jokic is almost averaging a triple-double, and he's put up some amazing numbers so far. I mean – 40 points, 27 rebounds, in double-digit assists against, I believe it was Memphis. He just had a game where he went 40, 15, and 15. Different. On Christmas. Different. And it's like, this guy is playing absolutely unbelievable, and he absolutely deserves to be a part of the conversation for MVP, if not the number one option at MVP this season. Yeah. The only issue, and I get it, NBA fans are going to be upset because does Jokic as the – as a player and in the history of NBA, is he really deserving of three straight MVPs? No, no, simply and, and no. you don't want you don't want the pressure and, and all, everything that comes with that because there are guys. I mean, you mentioned one. I think Giannis. I think LeBron. Obviously, you could even have said like Kobe. Like there are guys who haven't gotten three straight yeah. that definitely deserved it, but I they gave it to Kobe. somebody else because they wanted to give that guy their flowers. Yep. And right now, I think that's what's going to end up happening. A lot can happen overall, but. Uh, people are just mad because Jokic just won it back to back already, and they don't want to admit that he actually could win it a third time. I'm one of those people. I, I get it. I'm I get mad. it. I get it. But the stats speak for themselves. Because and De Denver is at the top of the West yeah. this year too, so that's even another thing pointing towards that argument. And let me be clear: why I'm upset is because I do think that Jokic, Joker, has yes. a legitimate chance of winning the MVP Absolutely. this season. He's arguably deserving of doing it, at least at this point in the season. Yes. But I didn't feel that way last year. I didn't even feel that way the year before. And that's why it's mm -hmm. annoying to me personally because This is now, nothing against you, Joker. This is nothing, the people who vote you in. Nothing against – yeah, nothing against the Dumb Joker. Dumb voters. But again, now, now that I feel like he's actually at a point where he's really deserving of oh, it, yeah. he should not get it. He yeah. should not – for it's historical ridiculous. perspective – He's not a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back MVP. But again, he's efficient is all hell. Averaging, yes. or excuse me, shooting over 60% from the field Absolutely is ridiculous. Insane. And again, efficiency. 33% from three. Efficiency. He's not even, he's averaging just about 15 shot attempts a game, which mm -hmm. is much less than my MVP candidate, which is Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic, is, to me, is the NBA MVP at this point, solidified by the first ever 60-20-10 game in NBA history. Put on top of wow. that, maybe the best buzzer beating fake or missed free throw tip in shot to win the game. Uh, I mean, that was ridiculous. And that's just encapsulates oh, how special Luka has been this season. Second leading scorer in the NBA, mm. doing it on a team that just very, isn't very good aside from him. Christian Wood is a hell of a player. Yes. It's his first year in Dallas. But Jason Kidd wasn't even starting him to begin the season. He was playing minimal minutes for what his talent suggests. Luke is, is a one-man show, man. I mean, and I can't really yeah, say that for the Denver Nuggets at this point. We have to take into consideration, too, part of the reason Jokic won the MVP last season yes. was because the large narrative was that he was doing it by himself without, without Jamal, Jamal Murray, Murray, without Michael Porter yep. Jr. Now with both of those guys back in the lineup and playing mm -hmm. well, particularly Michael Porter Jr. really playing well here recently, I have to yeah. give it to Luka. I no, have to give it to I, And I get that because I would say, like, I, I think most people would agree that the three favorites as of right now are Jokic, uh, Jason Tatum, yeah. and Luka Doncic. Tatum's been balling. And, and Tatum has been balling, but he definitely has the best team mm -hmm. out of the group. Mm -hmm. Jokic is second. And 100% agree with you that Dallas, they can get hot. And when they get hot yeah. and they, they hit those shots that they're supposed to hit when Luka is distributing the way that he does – that is a deadly team, the way that it's built, and if it's run the correct way. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely the most uh, 
don't want to say talentless because that just seems harsh, but it's <laughs> definitely not the most skilled out of those three teams. It's totally based on Luka and his success. Yeah. So I get that. Uh, it's just going to be tough moving forward because they did paint themselves into a corner. They're probably begging for Luka to just keep going crazy. But honestly, the other thing is they just might force it and give it to Tatum and, and come up with because they, they don't follow which the same I criteria. Hate. They don't. They don't follow the same criteria, and that's the most annoying thing yeah. because you could easily say Giannis or Embiid are also deserving of that title again this year. No doubt about it. And again, last point with Luka, mm-hmm. there's one path to a Mavs victory each in, yes. each night in and night out, and that's Luka going crazy, dropping a near triple double 30 plus points. <sighs> and with that being the only formula to a win, the Mavs are a top six team in the Western Conference at this moment, at the time of this recording. Appreciate him while we have Please. him. Please. But he's going to be around for a while. A I have while. a bunch he's going to be around for a while. It's going to be fun. But make sure you drop a like, make sure you comment and subscribe to catch us talking sports every damn day. Let's do it. But we'll catch you on the next episode of Joker Super Question. is dancing down those steps. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our other videos and don't forget to smack that subscribe button down below while you're at it. Also, for more great and original content, head right over to bbmsports.com.